It's about 7 o'clock at night and uh, tonight we're going out to uh, feed people, most of whom who live on the streets. Typically when we go out we feed at least 200 people and tonight we'll be serving soup. And uh, most of the people, we'll see people tonight between the ages of 2 and 92 really. Um, most of them are living on the streets or very, very close to the streets. It's probably the ministry that's closest to our heart. The one thing that I like about this uh, going out is that uh, um, reuniting back with uh, the people here that live on the streets and uh, we have built bridges and it's just so nice to come back and to receive the hugs from them and to know that, uh, that we do love them. All of these cartons are full of bags of soup like this which were donated from the United States. There was one tractor trailer load of these cartons sent from the U.S. to here in Honduras and have already fed thousands and are going to feed thousands more. Uh, definitely a blessing from God. This is a very wholesome. It's full of dried vegetables and all the seasoning you would ever need. Uh, and there are probably about at least 10 meals in just this one bag.
Uh, hi, we're uh, right now we're in uh, uh, Milo Sextanitas. Uh, we call it Center Number One, but it's uh, it's in the barrio uh, Generation 2000, or in Spanish, it's Generación 2000. Uh, there are two things that are uh, happening here. One is a uh, preschool for uh, is a preschool for for children ages four and five, and we. We try to find uh, 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 people who will support these children uh, and uh, sponsor them. And, uh, and they're here for two years, ideally, uh, before they go to public school. And, uh, so, and there's also a church. Uh, there's also a church as a part of the building. And, uh, and we, uh, out of, out of uh, the children and families that were reached, the, the, what we call a, a, a guardia or a, a feeding center, that's really a daycare or a preschool. Uh, the preschool and the church started out of the families that were being raised by Manuel Sextanditas as long ago as 18, 19, 20 years. So, so it's been, the ministry has been here for a long time and, uh, and uh, we're, we're just, we do whatever we can to support that ministry. And so my job here is that uh, I'm uh, taking over administration, so I get to meet the, the students, I get to meet the families, and uh, I take all the information and uh, pray and hope that uh, the children are sponsored. And what's hard for me is when you have families that come and say, what about this child? who has been in the sponsor, who has been in the program for two years and has not had a sponsor and they're going into the public school and they have no sponsor. And unfortunately, they can't be sponsored. So I am looking for sponsors for this, uh, my children who are here and also the children in the area. What does a sponsor do? What, what does the that sponsor, do for them? The, the sponsor helps out the, the children to be able to get their uniforms for the children, to be able to buy supplies for the children, to be able to have uh, um, receive uh, medical if they're uh, sick. It's- uh, and, 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 a, and a meal every day. And a meal every day. So if they're here, they receive a meal and a snack, but if they go to the public school, then they come here for their uh, their meal. And also the sponsor, the child, is gets helps from the sponsor to be able to get that supply still for their uniforms and their um, school books and for school. And so ideally, we the goal is that is that uh, the supporters would, would would help them all the way through high school. While they're here, our goal is to find sponsors that will help sponsor them all the way through school. And that's 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 always been the goal, and that's definitely the goal now. Hola. There is a student, David, whose mother came up to me and said, have you found a sponsor for David yet? I don't. But I told her it is good because I have all this year and that is my hope and that is my dream that when groups come or you go on the website that one of these children will touch your heart and that you are able to help them. Some of them I am their grandmother, to some of them I am their mother, 
and uh, I'm here to pray with them, to hang out with them, to hug, hug them when they're really sad, and to give them hope. Yeah, and, and I come and serve here uh, probably three or four times a month uh, normally, but then uh, when we have teams, uh, uh, I will bring teams in and, and uh, we'll open up uh, their eyes and their, their minds to, uh, to what's happening and what the needs are, how they can pray for the girls, uh, how they can meet some of their practical needs with uh, you know skill development and resources that they can help provide for them. And really the reality is, you know, all of that is so that they can come to love Jesus. And uh, so that's our main goal. And, uh, and, and really for us, we're blessed to have a, an open door to this ministry.
the Minish Rimano 16 Dias here has owned this property for probably about 16 or 18 years. And what we want to do out here, our vision, it's it's about three acres, 3.2 acres of land that we have out here. And pr pretty much it's flat for that month. But right now what we're getting ready to stake out is a building that we want to construct for boys whom are, have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, but they're in jail. They are now believers, but they have, um, because of crimes that they have committed in their neighborhood or in their city, now that they're in jail and they are Christians, when they get released, they cannot go back to their homes or even stay in the city. We have lost dozens of boys whom, because they had nowhere else to go outside the city, remained in the city trying to hide out and over time were found and murdered, okay? So our idea about this property and this building is to build a house. We want to start off uh, to be able to facilitate up to about six boys. We presently have three that are in jail, that are serving God, and will be released in the course of this year. So we want to be able to bring them out here. Uh, our idea is to over in this section of the property to have a workshop. They're going to make furniture, you know, uh, metal furniture here in Honduras is 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 what the people, uh, the lower class and the middle class people, the few middle class that there are, they buy metal furniture. Wood furniture is very expensive here. So when a person learns to well, as you've seen as you've been around the city, there are bars on the window, there are metal doors, and all type of metal work. So. Bring the boys out here. They will be out here, but we want to bring a welding shop out here. We want to bring our raw materials out here where the boys will make metal furniture. And that furniture will be trucked back into the city where it will be sold. Also, uh, later on, we'll get a different view of the property. But we want to raise chickens out here, okay? And we want to raise vegetables, but even more so than tomatoes or bell peppers, we want to raise jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers right now is one of the easier crops to grow that doesn't demand as much water, but yet has a, economically a greater yield than tomatoes or bell peppers, okay? So um, that's how the boys will finance themselves and the work out here. The mighty king of love He's the great protector A good shepherd over me 